critical challenge for humanity today is how do we keep growing? How do we grow to benefit the whole of society while embracing inclusion, diversity, and how do we grow in a way that restores the health of our planet and protects it? RISE came together through really a dedicated team of researchers, which I'm fortunate to be part of, that's focused on crafting the technology, the science and the social science and the governance research around this idea called the Water Sensitive City. The program has two overarching aims. On the one hand, it's about demonstrating the value of a Water Sensitive City's approach, a nature-based approach to water servicing in the main for the urban poor. The other part of our aim is to really understand the connection between environmental health and human health. This is not known, this is not well understood, and we, our project is really at the forefront of asking this particular scientific question. The world is seven billion people approaching to nine. There's still the one Earth. Uh, and, and so the challenges are concentrated and magnified in, in cities. This is where I think some of the greatest challenges are. It's the challenges of water management, safe delivery of water supply and sanitation, the infrastructure to deliver uh, reliable water supply and safe sanitation uh, it's expensive if you, if you look at it from the traditional way of delivering it. The outcomes from that is uh, that the, there's always a sector, a section of our community that will miss out on those uh, infrastructure services, uh, the poor and vulnerable, uh, people in informal settlements. And for us, particularly the Pacific, we are kind of vulnerable because our land size are very small and we are vulnerable to floodings. And because we are prone to flooding, you know, most of those waste and those polluted waters come back. And not all islands in the Pacific are actually accessible to treated, uh, proper treated water supply that's actually um, safe for drinking. We are currently not only a threat from that, but our population is also affected in the sense. Sanitation, because we are not really, not everyone is actually, um, accessible to proper uh, treated, uh, you know, sanitary facilities. There are some basic things that need to be fulfilled to meet the basic needs of the human life, water, foods, those kind of things. So, you know, of the basic foundations of the human life in all of the world. Difficult to, you know, um, life sustainably without water. And um, so many cities now have problems with the water, you know, uh, um, availability. In order to be live healthy, we need have to live in a sustainable environment. We can afford to, you know, um, to be healthy, to be uh, um, living in uh, very well conditions without a good condition of the city, and in particular in the urban uh, as well as in the rural areas. As an infectious disease doctor, um, I think that one of the biggest problems we face uh, is that uh, water and sanitation and the, the problems associated with exposure to contaminants um, from faeces in the environment is still killing uh, um, millions of children uh, around the world. We are recognising that just putting in toilets is not sufficient to improve the health of children under five and that we also need to be conscious of the whole environments that they live in. Um, the major funder of the health assessment aspect of, of this program of work is the Wellcome Trust and their specific call for projects was about looking at our planet, our health. 
our health and our well-being is, in, is incredibly in, and in, inextricably uh, determined by the environments in which we live. The main aim of this project from a, um, I guess from a scientific or health point of view, is to reduce the amount of faecal contamination of the environment that occurs by putting in an intervention that deals with faecal contamination. And we hope to be able to answer some questions such as how um, ecological and environmental uh, diversity or exposure to diverse environments impacts on human health. We can prove uh, that this actually improving the health of the environment as well as the human population by measuring, I mean, the linkage between the change in the environment and the change in the um, uh, human health. It's not going to only affect the 12 communities, it's going to affect the communities even around them. RISE is actually trying to harmonize uh, a relationship between the humans and the environment. So. This project has got uh, Im immense potential to, to provide uh, essential services to the poor and vulnerable and truly uh, meet the aspirations of the Sustainable Development Goals, and that is to leave no one behind.